ChatGPT can hold conversational text interactions with users, and these exchanges can feel as natural as if you're having a conversation with another person. A really, really well-informed person we should all benefit from. Stay tuned as we dive deeper in today's video and help you learn how to take advantage of this technology. Be sure to stick till the end to catch today's bonus fact. With this said, let's learn how to use the tool. Number one, create a free OpenAI account and log in. Go to chat.openai.com and register for an account with an email address or a Google or Microsoft account. You need to create an account on the OpenAI website to log in and access ChatGPT, but it is free. If you've never created an account before, click on Sign Up and follow the prompts to enter your information. OpenAI does require a valid phone number for verification to create an account on its website. If you haven't created an account, click on Sign Up. Otherwise, log in with your OpenAI credentials. Number two, accept ChatGPT's terms. Next, you'll see a few disclaimers come up before you can actually chat with the AI chatbot. Read them over and accept them one by one to enter the chat. The terms will come up in three stages. Click next on the first two and done on the last one. Number three, become familiar with the chat GPT window. Once you've logged into your OpenAI account on the chat GPT side of the website, it's time to get to know the AI's tool window. One, new chat and hide sidebar buttons. On the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see a button for new chat that you can click on to start a new conversation at any time. This is useful because the chat GPT model remembers what was previously discussed in a conversation and will respond with context. So starting a new chat will start a new conversation without prejudice or context. Two, chat history. The left sidebar also keeps all your previous conversations accessible, in case you need to go back to one. 3. Account If you don't have ChatGPT+, you'll also see an Upgrade to Plus button here. Clicking on your email address or name on the bottom left of your screen will give you access to your account information, including settings, the option to log out, and help and FAQ from OpenAI. 4. Your prompts the questions or prompts you give the AI chatbot appear here. 5. ChatGPT's responses. Whenever ChatGPT responds to your queries, the logo will appear on the left. The copy, thumbs up, and thumbs down buttons appear to the right of each response. You can copy the text to your clipboard to paste elsewhere and also provide feedback on whether the response was accurate or not. This process helps fine-tune the AI tool. Six. Regenerate response. If you have issues getting a response in the chat or don't get a satisfactory answer, you can click on Regenerate response to prompt ChatGPT to try again with a new answer for the latest prompt. Seven, text area. This is where you enter your prompts and questions. Just hit enter to send them. Eight, ChatGPT version. OpenAI includes a bit of fine print below the text input area, where you can read the disclaimer that this is a free research preview. ChatGPT may produce inaccurate information about people, places, or facts. There's also the version of the ChatGPT model you're currently using. Number four, start writing your prompts and questions. That's it. Now that you know how to log into and access ChatGPT, it's time to get started with it and ask the language model any burning questions you may have and see what answers you get. The possibilities are quite literally endless, from writing essays to summarizing a book for you. But it can also write and fix code, make calculations, help you compile your resume, translate information, and more. And now it's time for the promised bonus fact. Did you know there are more than 80 plugins in the ChatGPT store with a wide range of functions to extend its capabilities? The plugins give you better writing prompts, help you book flights and local restaurants, give financial advice, and even provide you with timely links to XKCD comics. Thanks for watching. We would love to hear from you about your views on ChatGPT. 
How do you think it's beneficial? Or is it a threat? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and become an avid AI learner by subscribing to the channel and ringing the notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out. Want to code with ChatGPT? Easy peasy. Here's a video where we walk you through the process one step at a time.